I do not know to whom I owe this. I don't, I am not saying that I have invented or discovered them. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that somebody must have pointed this out to me. But that was not Roger Penrose. When I heard about these, I remember I was at a talk given by Andre Troutman when I was in Syracuse in 1951, 1961, sorry. And this occasion, he was explaining the asymptotic properties and the fact that the leading term had this particular form of a null field. And there were lots of very complicated calculations, which I found very difficult to follow and to do myself. And I thought, this is very impressive, but I'm not so good as he is at understanding equations. And so I thought, can I, do, can I understand this in some geometrical way? I wrote a short note in the bulletin that was published in the bulletin of the Polish Academy of Sciences. I started to, when I said Syracuse, I was Syracuse, of course, in New York State, when there were a lot of people there. Uh, Engelbert Schucking was there, Andrzej Troutman, uh, Ruja Troutman came. Well, she was Ruja, became Ruja Troutman later on. <laughs> and uh, there were uh, uh, many people. Peter Bergman was the one in charge of their group, Josh Goldberg. Uh, and Ray Sachs came and visited for a while. And I remember learning about the ideas that he had introduced about the le leading term had this null form but you could see if you looked at the next term and the next term and the next term, they had this very interesting, what we call the peeling property of principal null directions uh, going off one after the other. In that paper, I proposed to consider gravitational fields not necessarily weak, but uh, satisfying suitable boundary conditions, namely those outgoing ozone field or the uh, radiation con uh, boundary conditions that they have uh, learned from reading Courant and Hilbert. It was a surprise to me, and I should have realized, I suppose, that the way that things fall off when you go off at null directions are just at the right rate to make things finite. And the, in the integral which I have wrote, or that I wrote in that paper, was over a space-like surface. Null hypersurfaces which were missing in the bulletin, they already appear in the lecture notes that I gave in, at King's. I do not know to whom I owe this. I, don't, I am not saying that I have invented or discovered them. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that somebody must have pointed this out to me. But that was not Roger Penrose, but with, because with Roger Penrose I have uh, met only two, two years later in, in Syracuse. Important. Examples I, was, I found very powerful in this analysis was the one by Andre Troutman and Ivor Robinson, the Robinson Troutman solutions, which had the right kind of asymptotic behavior that made them, uh, made them finite at null infinity. And this picture, which Helmers has just been showing us, of a compactification along the null directions uh, where you introduce. Uh, a boundary and your conformal factor goes to zero or infinity depending which way up it is. In order to follow radiation, you have to use outgoing null cones. That was described in, in some detail by Professor Penrose at the beginning of his lecture here. You remember those. Postanowieniami prezydenta Rzeczpospolitej Polskiej odznaczeni zostali za wybitne zasługi w pracy naukowo-badawczej, za osiągnięcia w międzynarodowej współpracy naukowej, krzyżem komandorskim Orderu Odrodzenia Polski, pan Andrzej Trautman. za wybitne osiągnięcia naukowe w dziedzinie fizyki, za rozwijanie polsko-brytyjskiej współpracy naukowej, krzyżem komandorskim Orderu Zasługi Rzeczpospolitej Polskiej, pan Roger Penrose.
chciałem powiedzieć, że mam w moim biurku kilka już dypl medali, dyplomów, w szczególności dyplomy profesorskie podpisane przez prezydentów, ale pierwszy raz w życiu mi się zdarza, że otrzymuję te wysokie odznaczenia i dyplomy bezpośrednio z rąk samego prezydenta i za to bardzo panu prezydentowi teraz dziękuję. Chciałbym powiedzieć, myślą w takich sytuacjach, w takich, o, przy takich okazjach wracam zawsze myślą do tych, którzy mnie uczyli, którzy mnie wprowadzili do, do pracy naukowej. Myślę o Leopoldzie Infeldzie, myślę o Jerzu Plebańskim, którzy mnie wprowadzili do fizyki na Uniwersytecie Warszawskim. Dzisiaj jest z nami pan profesor Roger Penrose, Sir Roger. No tutaj tak z takich względów zostało ułożone, że moje nazwisko pojawia się wszędzie jako pierwsze, a Rogera jako drugie. Ale to Roger jest tym, który, od którego ja się uczyłem, który jest cały czas, przez całe moje życie jest wzorem dla mnie i źródłem inspiracji. Także na, naprawdę to Roger Penrose jest tutaj tą pierwszą osobą, która powinna być odpowiednio uhonorowana. Bardzo, bardzo Rogerowi dziękuję za to. Jeszcze raz, panie prezydencie, dziękuję i za, za wysokie wyróżnienie. Well, thank you very much. I think um, Andrzej is, is known for his modesty and you've seen an example of it just now. I, I think I heard a lecture by him when I was in Syracuse, first time I met him in 1961, a group of very distinguished relativists who had uh, been there for, well, I think accumulated there particularly, I think, um, Peter Bergman, who had been the last student of Albert Einstein, uh, and he was in charge of the group there, and I'd been working in Princeton up to that point. And I remember going to a lecture that Andrzej gave, and it was full of very complicated equations and, and very inspirational. And I went away thinking, I can't do equations like that. That's much too complicated. I must think of another way of doing it, which is geometric. It took me many years, but eventually I'd found a way of doing the kind of thing with his complicated equations, which I could visualize. And I think it has been useful for other people afterwards. So I think we both learned from each other. And uh, I, I, you have to take his, what he says with, with uh, regarded as, as he's a very modest man, and I think that uh, his achievements have been absolutely outstanding and uh, certainly influenced me very much, not just in relativity, because he understood, before the physicists did, I think, the way the interactions are studied in particle physics. It's a particular way that physicists uh, apply, a very important way, but to understand what it meant mathematically was, I think, Andre's achievement and it's certainly been very influential to me uh, how these things work and to see in a geometrical picture what's actually going on. So I think that his achievements are completely outstanding and uh, I have, want to say how much I've gained from not just Andre but from the Polish physicists in particular, well, Krzysztof Meisner and uh, Paweł Narowski and other people here, Ivo Bielinsk Brula, who, who's uh, I've known for an enormously long time. Each time I come from Poland, I have inspirational, he gives me inspirational ideas. And uh, I find it not just the physicists here, I have a tremendous respect for the Polish people and how, what they had to put up with during the war and how brave they were and the achievements that they uh, provided and in particular also the work that they did on, on the Enigma machine, which was so important for the development of the uh, intelligence, understanding of breaking of codes, which was so important uh, for the development of the war. So uh, Poland in particular is some place I always enjoy coming back to and how I think each time I gain more from my experiences with people I meet here. And uh, I think we will see something in the future also, which will, I hope, develop from things that I have experienced in this particular visit too. It, there's already some things which have happened which I think will change our picture in certain ways. So thank you very much to the Polish people, to Warsaw, and to this award, which is a tremendous honor for me.